this is Justice from Tablet Pro. I get a lot of questions about uh, how Tablet Pro works with simultaneous pen and touch, uh, which is a process that Microsoft calls SPT, which when you're writing it is uh, a lot faster than <laughs> retyping simultaneous pen and touch. So that said, um, we're going to get into uh, how it works and how it doesn't work, how um, you interact with programs that do not, that don't support uh, SPT, uh, which sounds like a sexually transmitted disease. Uh, so I guess I will say simultaneous pen and touch. <laughs> All right, so if, if your program that you're using or you're wanting to use doesn't support it, then um, there's a couple different things that you can do inside of Tablet Pro to at least sidestep some of the frustration that that can cause. Uh, Photoshop does not, ZBrush does not, and we're working on a solution for ZBrush. Uh, and our Photoshop solution, our Photoshop solution, seems uh, pretty adequate for most people. Uh, so let's go into what you need to do to get that going and how to set that up. I think one of the most important things for us to do here in the beginning is to demonstrate what simultaneous pen and touch actually is. So when the pen is down. And I'm drawing, being able to press and use modifiers. So I do color picking here. And you can see that I'm pressing the button down over here. So I'm pressing it down, then I'm using the pen, pressing it down, picking a color. Uh, switching tools, all of this stuff. And um, here, this is one of the neat things about Paint Tool Slide version 2. So I'm here, and I'm going to tap this down, and I'm switching to a different mode only while I'm holding the button down. As soon as I release, it's going. So you can see that there's a big difference in how this performs versus what a lot of us are used to inside of Photoshop or other ones. And this is it's not like this is the only way that you can work. There's a lot of different ways that you can do this. Um, by the way, this is my daughter, and she's beautiful and wonderful. And I'm really excited to be drawing a picture of her because I get to stare at her beautiful face all day long. So this is Photoshop. And in Photoshop, uh, there's a couple different things that we do. So here, this is our brush resizing. So I press down here, and I try and drag the pen, and it doesn't work. The way that we get around this and we make this work is this is basically a um, mouse, a little tiny virtual mouse. And so when I drag on it, it's going to resize. And I use my thumb to do that resizing. So here I can draw, resize, shrink, pick new colors. And it's all pretty quick and pretty easy, but it's different than tapping here and dragging. So here, if I'm trying to pick a color, say I want this green color, say I want this purple color, wait, why is it not picking the purple color? The reason it's not picking the purple color is the touch interaction over here communicates with Photoshop, and because Photoshop is using an older touch API, it doesn't understand do both at the same time. It says, okay, there's touch interaction over here on the screen, so we're gonna turn off the uh, certain levels of pen interaction, and so they don't work together. At least that's how I understand it. So here, how we do it in Tablet Pro is I tap this button, tap, release. Oh, I changed these. <laughs> because I was doing some testing. Okay, so we're going to go here, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Go to, so you can right-click anywhere over here with a long press, or you can tap on the horizontal three lines or hamburger menu. We're going to go to edit layout. And this is very important to know how to do. So play, um, please pay very close attention here. So that's my number one tech support question. So we're going to tap on alt. Alt is set as blank with alt on it. The reason I'm not using Alt from up here, right here, 
is this does not have the ability to have any of these other modifiers attached to it. So we're going to go down to the very, very last option, which is blank. Right here. And we're going to turn on plus one second. This is a one second toggle. And let's go ahead and do the same thing for control and shift. All right, we'll press save. Uh, we're working on, so I'm going to tap here, and then this keeps Alt on for one second. And you can see that I can color pick now. Uh, same thing for Control and Shift. Um, if I wanted to draw a quick straight line, which by the way, I hate that Photoshop does this. That doesn't make any sense to me why it doesn't disconnect from the last location. Anyway, so if these are staying on, so you create a layout and shift is staying on, it's not turning off. Let's see if I can just demonstrate that um, here. So these are on and they're not turning off. Okay, and how do you get them to not stay on all of the time? All right, so we'll go into settings here and right here, disable toggle, control, shift, alt. So if we are here now, these will just turn on and off, uh, which still doesn't make it work with simultaneous pen and touch, but good to know how to do. I like having it turned on in settings because you can just create a blank a blank button with alt on it and then have uh, that work differently than your standard alt so you can have a couple of different buttons set up for a couple different situations uh, while I have you here let me very quickly share something else that's important this right here is a wonderful tool for for changing colors rapidly but it doesn't always work smoothly um, and that is due to a setting in Windows. So let's go ahead and check that out. So we're gonna go here and we're going to check out uh, control panel. And we are going to pen and touch. So here, control panel, hardware and sound, pen and touch, Uh, you may need to disable this for certain scenarios. Use the pen button as right-click equivalent. That's important. If you want to turn off right-click, that's where this is. Okay, the other thing that you may want to adjust is your mouse properties. So let's go ahead and we're going to go to Settings, Devices, Mouse, additional mouse properties or additional mouse options and over here in pointer options you're going to turn on display pointer trails when that is off i'll show you the difference so this is real choppy it actually works better because takashi didn't update recently this used to be really um horribly laggy now it works a bit better if you want it really smooth, or if you want to make the um, full screen mode really smooth, this will improve how smooth the operation of the mouse pointer is. Uh, hopefully that information was useful to you and answer some of the questions you had about simultaneous pen and touch. There is a handful of apps that do use simultaneous pen and touch, or the new touch API from Microsoft, including Leonardo, um, Paint Tool Sci version two, and uh, a couple others that if you guys find that it does work, then I'd like uh, for you to put a comment in the description so we can build a list here, so people know what programs are supported uh, as well as uh, any comments or questions you guys have about how Tablet Pro works. I think this is a great place to build a, um, like a Q&A area for Tablet Pro. 
especially for new users who are, are trying to figure out how to do certain things. So put your comments below. Um, you can use uh, control F to search the comments for different things that you have questions on. And I'll try and transfer some of this information over to an FAQ on the website as well. But this being a first stop for new users. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out Tablet Pro. I appreciate all of you and hope you have a wonderful day. Until next time, stay creative.